All right, round two. I will play first. This deck, uh, this guy's deck is absolutely insane. He is Mizium Mortars, thereby, uh, and just one of the cards that makes me not want to play this format. It's like Plague Wind, except it's three mana cheaper. But it's all right. My people will prevail. I wonder if he's paying attention to this game. There we go. He also has Chaos Imps, which are less of a problem. So we can just Soul Tithe them, of course. Shimmy shimmy yo. Steela. You're going to steal your secrets. Don't worry about it. Don't worry too much about your secrets. Splatterthug. Not unleashed, sure. Um, what do we do here? So we, I guess we just bounce that. Get in there, a little tempo advantage, a little card advantage. Nothing wrong with that. I'm pretty sure that my, my people are a big fan of both of those things. Mizzy Motors doesn't kill this, ooh. Sexy. Splat a thug. All right, well, here we are, not playing anything. If he attacks, I can play this or this. No big deal. Sure, Tower Drake. Uh, I think we're actually playing this. I'd like to be able to attack. And I suppose you can two for one me with, uh, mortars. These guys do live, though. So he's looting. So yeah, he's either got mortars or imps here. It's fairly obvious. Yep, imps. Imp status, as we call them. He's not attacking. Give me my counter. Uh, we're gonna play... First off, we're gonna attack. Then we are going to play the Rune Wing. Never mind, we're not. Um, if he plays Mizium Mortars, then I take 11. Not planning on taking 11. I'll take 7. And then we can figure out a way to get around that thing. So he's basically just, it's, I'm, I'm mana shorting him for right now. My filibuster counter, no! The horror, the horror! Land? Not the correct land. So the good news is he didn't have a land, so he can't go land mortars my rune wing. Actually, like, not a horrible spot. Like, he could st he can still blow me out with, uh, whatever that card is. Swift. We're just gonna judge you swiftly, no big deal. All right, so now, so he has to kill. I don't know, this is an interesting position. 
You know what? I'm not even going to play anything. Because I'm definitely winning this race. If he ta he can tap out. Yeah. See? He can. I, I didn't want to play this because then he could just mortars me and it's just another dead guy. Alright, Sphinx. Sphinx was not a card that I knew he had. I'll say that much. See if we can draw like an inaction injunction or something. Filibust away. Alright, so now he would be dead. However, I knew he had mortars. I did not know he had that. So, uh. Play this. So, what happens if I soul tithe this and pass? So, I soul tithe, play rune wing. He lets this die, plays mortars. This is assuming he has mortars. Kills my stuff. This lives. I still have a judgment and I draw a card. If he doesn't, I, I think I'm going to soul tie this. If he doesn't have mortars, I mean, this, this will replace itself, replace itself. If he doesn't have mortars, uh, then I can just win because he'll pay for this. And then I'll uh, judgment it and attack him for lethal. There you go. What decision will you make? Ah, yes. So, yeah, it looks... No, it's not. Oh, he doesn't have mortars. All right, cool. Ha! <laughs> That's such an awful card. Now I'm just going to attack with everything. Hmm, so he has something. So maybe he does have mortars and he's trying to get rid of this? But I can't imagine that's what he's doing. He's got something, obviously. Maybe a down, what's it called, down something? No, because then he would kill this. What are you doing? Alright, I'll draw a card. All right. So we've got some good ones. So double is it charm auger spree on the splash. So you got chaos Sims, sphinx of the chimes, Mizium mortars, double is it charm auger spree. Something else, obviously. I mean, I. Oh wow! <laughs> it was like it's like I can't block here. I forgot this thing wins me the game. Otherwise, although I mean, if he's tapping his guy, he's on a two-turn clock whether he attacks me or not. So you got decisions to make, my fine feathered friend. So clearly, he's got a six drop. What's going on here? Other than lots of drawing nothing. Guild Feud should probably not be in this deck. I know it fits the theme, but the theme should also be winning in the face of adversity. Yeah, I'm, oh, I was going to say I'm definitely judgmenting that, but... Alright, well... Perfect Perfects are pretty sweet. <laughs> Not a lot I can do about it. So he had... At some point he went Sphinx into... Augur's Free into Is It Charm into Explosive Impact. I will certainly allow you to attack me. I'm winning this race, in case you were wondering. I wonder if he drew another instant speed removal while I've drawn land, 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 guild feud, land, land. Guess we'll find out. Hmm. Weird. No pun intended. 
So still have another dramatic rescue. So you you top decked four cards. No, let's. He didn't draw a way to kill that, or he would have killed it. He has enough mana to clearly has enough mana to kill it and um, attack me and deal dam deal damage. So. Oh, okay. Spell? That's a spell. I'll rest ya, unless he has a cancel too. Oh, sweet. Fall the gavel. Interesting. Alright, so his deck is absurd. His deck is ridiculous. Um, but we shall prevail... Get rid of that, get rid of that. Add one of these and one of these. This is terrible against him. There are a few things that are really bad against him. This is probably not the worst. And, uh, well, what is really bad against him? All these cards are actually reasonable. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go, go, Jew draft. This isn't terrible. Obviously need to draw planes. You know what I mean? I am on the draw. I'm gonna need to get lucky to beat this guy's deck. I mean, it's fairly obvious. There we go. Planes time! So let's see, if he goes island and passes... Oh, well he didn't, so... I was going to say, I think I just play... I have to play into a syncopate. Le Guildmage. Bring the ruckus. This card is very good. Rabbi Frostburn weird. What does he have that can kill this? On instant speed, nothing, right? Um, let's see, so... What were his four drops? I'm just gonna do this. I think this is more valuable than this, and he probably has syncopate, which is why he's just not doing anything. So, I mean, his... From what we saw, his four drop spot was actually the weakest. Yeah, so. Good read, good read. So, Tech, let's see if he pumps this guy. Yeah, he's gonna pump now. Oh, just one. So, what do you have? Splatter Thug? Oh, Tower Drake, sure. I'm going to play Key Rune. So he obviously, he's, his 5-drop spot is like Thought Flare, which is a huge beating. Um, but he play, he's, he, he play that in instant speed at the end of my turn anyway. 6-drop spot, his 6-drop spot is a problem. I'll rest ya. Right. So yeah, I'm going to rest here. This guy does more damage, but I want him to use his mana at this point. What do we got? Well, all right. So he, he's playing around a counter spell. It's a pretty smart move, actually. Ogre Jailbreaker and Augur Spree. He just didn't have the what's it called? Blue. <laughs> what's it called? No, it's not blue. It's black. Yeah. So here I'm just chilling.
Yeah. Ass. Hmm, I wonder, he's either really good or really bad. Because I don't know why you'd offer the Tower Drake trade for an Arrester. Oh, all right. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> uh, let's see. No, I kind of have to play this, actually. If you play some huge dude, I'm going to have to spend a lot of mana detaining it until I draw an answer. I mean, there's not really any other card he could have other than Chaos Sims at this point. Alright, so... The Ogre Jailbreaker on the Splash, interesting. Still have some outs here. He's only got one card in his hand. I mean, I suppose I can lock this stupid thing down for like a minute. Do it on his turn in case he screws up somehow. I don't really need to attack him. So one more land and I can jump this. Oh, so he's actually drawn better than he you could possibly imagine, and uh, I lost this game. But uh, sometimes you draw like a god, and uh, his god, at least for now, was stronger than my Jew god. But we will uh, we will turn that around in this decisive third game. This is an, this is not a great hand by any means, but there it is. All right, well, that's an acceptable turn to draw. Yeah, definitely need to play that. I mean, I don't think he'll do anything on turn three, but he might. Spider Thug's, like, not really a huge problem. Because of uh, Armor Guard. Guess he can Street Spasm this. Oh, wait, no, I can just give him Flying, so he can't. Is it Static Casters? Does that do anything against me? Not a lot. Again, we saw that his 4-drop spot was probably the weakest. Sure. So yeah, that thing can attack us. You know, that is what it is. Uh, let's see. Key rune. Yeah, I'm just going to play this guy. He can Thought Flare on his turn again. Still just going to get guys down. I don't want to keep taking smacks from that stupid thing. Yeah, I can't, I can't take that. I can't block that at this point. That plays into Street Spasm like a... Madre fucker. Batterhorn, sure. So let's see. Let me see. So let's see. Kiroon. I 
And also he pings the guy. <laughs> Forgot about that. Uh, block. No? There you go. Block and block. Get rid of that guy. Trade my 2 4 4 is 4 4. Fo fo, as they call it. My fo fo makes sure all your kids don't grow. And we're just ch we're chilling. We're hanging out. Good times had by all. Negatory. Not happening. Not on my watch. Sphinx of the Giant Guy. Let's get rid of that before he has mana for Dispel. I don't know why he's not attacking with Batterhorn. There you go. Use your smarts. Use your smarts. Interesting. Just going to enact an injunction on this guy. Play Malamde and attack you. You may inspirate. I'll allow it. Couldn't have attacked with this and kept man mana up for cancel. Hover barrier, gotcha. I will also hang out and inspirate. All right, so the question here is, do I take a lot of damage? Is it Kieran? Sure. This is this is a May, all right. Yeah, I think I'm gonna take another smack from that little dude. And we're gonna inspirate me. Play Hassar Patrol. One, two, three. He can cancel counter it if he wants. Oh, all right, I'll take two. My boy's full of counter spells. Going to enact an injunction on you. This can activate and block. I really don't want him to do that. If he activates, I'll just get my guildmate flying. And not play the Steeler. The unfortunate thing is that this is blank, kind of blanking this. This this makes it an inaction injunction. Uh, that, you know, a worse one. Nothing to do instant speed. Play another guild gate. So let's see, activate. Stealing secrets. 
all day long. Ugh, I had to step away for a minute because I heard my cat throwing up. Uh, let's see. Block, block. All right. Right. We expected this to happen. All right. Now, at least that thing's out of the way, right? Commence the beating. We'll do that too. That that's also the play that we're doing. I have outlawed Russia forever. Let's see what do we got? Tower Drake. Strangely okay with that. How are we gonna do this? Bounce to that. Yeah. Oh wait, that is friggin' <laughs> that's haste. Uh let's see. Set arrest that, and then I still have mana. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna detain this arrest this. Attack here, get through for a couple. See if I can counter that. He is one of these, too. Jesus Christ. So I'm just going to have to pick away at him slowly. <laughs> The annoying thing is that I didn't know this would take so long, and I've got to go to work soon. So if I win this round, I can't play the last round. So I'm, I'm expecting block and trade. Pretty much, uh, pretty much my expectations right there. He's got to get his flyers out of there. This guy is really, really mana intensive. And I mean, he has so much... Street Spasm destroys me. Streets, so, I mean, this guy can counter Street Spasm by himself because he can give my guys flying. Boom. Um... So, I mean, obviously, Chaos Imps is, like, kind of annoying. I'm going to have to bounce that guy. I wonder what his last card is. Very curious, actually. I guess that's a good card. Let's see. One, two, three, 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 three. All right. So I, ne I needed one more mana to do what I want to do. Unfortunately, I'm giving him like a lot of draws. I have some responses to his draws. Um, but yeah, nothing he has has any power. So let's detain this stupid thing. 
Activate this. Attack. Slowly pecking away here. Looks like he's drawn a lot of land. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Eh, he's still got a few left. Island. Island's not bad, actually. Detain you. Give target creature against flying. Let's let's do you. Let's do the guy. We'll activate you. See if he's got something. Something huge. Without flying, right. So he did have Street Spasm, he just didn't read it. <laughs> Jewish people triumph again! Woohoo! <laughs> now I can't play the last round. So let's see if this guy wants to sp split. So Swiss butter. So if he says no, I'm just going to have to concede. This deck, uh, I don't know. Who knows if would have won or lost the draft. I can't imagine that anyone had a better deck than the guy I just beat. But, you know, I, I had the uh, the spirit of Judaism on my side. Uh, it, it was an interesting exercise. Uh, I didn't think it would work out so well. Sweet. Lower roll concedes. Yeah. Uh, keep this. Um, yeah, because if he had said no, I would just have to scoop to him. So Swiss Butter, if you're watching this, you did a good thing. You lost two packs in the process, but you uh, you helped me out a lot. Since I uh, I clearly planned poorly, time wise. Um, but anyway, this this goes to show that you can draft themes de theme decks, and they can be at least reasonably successful. So I kind I had fun with this. Um, I know I'm not retarded or blind, so I know that we definitely passed some very good stuff that would have you know worked well in our deck. But that shows if you th stick to a plan, even a weird non magic related plan, and go through with it, it could work. Can work out so long as you pick you know as so long as your picks are Jewish. I don't think this would have worked with Catholic. So anyway, we ended up with six packs, which I wish had some Jewish significance. Uh, if we had got eight packs, that would have been a lot better. Um, you know, eight days of Hanukkah and whatnot. But got to do what you got to do, which is go to work. So uh, everyone who watched, thank you very much. And uh, it's Marlon for Draft Magic. Later.